Hey everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another episode of WTF What the Flow. So in today's episode, I will be covering through and and or statements in a flow condition. So in terms of the agenda, uh, this is going to be a beginner level topic and I'm going to do a quick recap on what I mean by an and or statement in Dynamics 365 workflows and then I'm going to show you how to replicate it in Flow. So in terms of Dynamics 365 workflows, currently we are used to configuring the condition step where we reference fields and typically we tend to use and and or statements. So here are some screenshots and as you can see in this scenario I am creating um, a task but only if the condition of the case that it's going to be associated to has fields that equal certain criteria. Alright so without further ado let's head into the flow. Alright so I'm going to open up flow and we are going to use the same flow that I had showcased in episode 1 and in this scenario, we are going to be creating a condition where the customer field equals Stark Industries and the product equals AI support. So not only are we doing and or statements, but I'm also going to show you how to reference a lookup field because in Flow, it is different. And if you are familiar with Power BI, this might seem familiar to you already. Okay, so in a condition in flow, when you hit choose a value or select choose a value, it's going to give you a list of fields that you can choose from. Now, depending where you are in the flow, what you see in here will depend on the previous steps in the flow, if that makes sense. So because I am in this step, it knows that it can only pull through fields from this step in here, which is which is the trigger step. If I was, let's say, later down in the flow, then it's going to allow me to select fields from any other entity from previous steps. So that's one thing to remember in flow. Okay, so all of these fields that are displayed currently is from the entity case. Now, when you want to select a field, you can either scroll down or you can search for it. So in here, I'm going to enter in customer and it's going to give you some matches. So this is the field that I want. And then the next thing we're going to do is enter in our lookup value. Now, in Dynamics 365, what we are currently used to is simply referencing the record in terms of um, the lookup field. So when we click on the lookup, it will give you any possible list of records that you can choose from. Now what's different in Flow is that because it's outside of Dynamics 365, it doesn't necessarily know that Strike Industries is a customer record because Flow will only see it as a good. So it's kind of similar to when you work with Power BI. So what you want to do is you want to grab the good of that record. So this is how we reference a lookup in Flow. And in Unified Interface, the GUID is available um, at the end of the at the end of the URL path. So I'm going to click copy and we're going to paste it in the flow. And that's it. So when you want to reference a lookup in flow, you need to grab the good. So that is bonus tip number one. All right. So now when you're looking at the flow, it's not it's not apparent how you can add an additional criteria, right? So how do you do it? This is where you have to use advanced mode. So when you select advanced mode. What you basically selected in the basic mode is now being displayed to you on what it looks like in terms of the the function, the value. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here and talk about um, 
how how this works well in in my opinion so disclaimer i am not a developer and i don't necessarily know the correct terms but i'm going to explain it so that you guys can understand how this works so in flow what it's doing is it's calling a function to pass single or multiple parameters using some logic so in here what it's pretty much referencing is it's saying that the condition needs to equal to something and this is pretty much the field that we're referencing from this trigger step and the value that it's referencing is the good which is Stark Industries. So hopefully I explained that. Okay, so then what I'm gonna show you next is how to do the and bit of the condition. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it into my notepad plus plus. Now, this will be bonus tip number two and I'll, I'll get to it soon of why I recommend using Notepad++ over the standard Notepad application that you get with your Windows PC. Okay, so I'm going to go back into edit and basic mode. And the next thing we're going to do is we want to select a product. And I'm going to follow the same step as last time, where I'm going to grab the GUID of the product. Okay, so now we're back in flow. I've just copy and pasted that click in advanced mode and we're going to copy this and paste it into um, notepad plus plus okay now here comes the fun part well i think it's fun but you guys can be the judge okay so we now have our two functions so our two criteria of it must equal stark industries and it must equal ai support so now what we want to do is we want to now add the and statement. So before the equals, this is where we can type in and, and then we need to enter a opening bracket. And to separate the two criteria, we simply need to add a comma. And because we already have the first part of the function, which is the and, we don't need this at character anymore, so we can get rid of this. Now, the next thing we need to do is close off the brackets in this function. And the thing that I like about Notepad++ is that it makes it really easy to find out where you are missing brackets, because when you accidentally miss a bracket, it can result in a cryptic error message in flow, which is something you don't want. All right. So this is saying that um, it's the closing bracket for this part of the function and then saying here. So what we are missing is we're missing the closing bracket for this. So now when I do a closing bracket, it's now um, closing this opening bracket up here. All right, and that's pretty much it. So now I'm gonna copy and paste into Flow and hit save. Now, I wanna, I wanna pause here for a minute because there's two things I wanna address. The first one is you might question, you know, referencing a lookup. That might be a bad idea because in the target instance, you might not have that same record with that same good or that record or that good will not exist in the target instance. Now that is correct, but usually when we reference uh, lookups in a dev instance, typically we migrate that record from the dev to the test or the UAT or to the production environment. Because when you export and import your flow into the target instance, it could fail because it doesn't know that record exists over there. Okay, the second thing I want to address is this might seem more effort compared to 
the click and select that we use to in Dynamics 365 workflows. However, what you need to remember is that Flow can reference different applications. So you have to remember that Flow is designed to be used across a whole range of applications and it uses the OData APIs of Dynamics 365. So the way we configure Inflow will be different, but you can still extend on the knowledge that you currently have for Dynamics 365 workflows. And that is the whole purpose of my What the Flow series is to help to help you understand how you can use your existing knowledge in of Dynamics 365 workflows and the method that you need to use in Flow for it to work. Yeah, okay, that was it. All right. So let's hit save and let's go ahead and put this flow to the test. Okay, so I'm back in Dynamics 365 and I'm in my unified interface and we're going to go ahead and create a case. And the flow should now execute. So let's refresh our flow. Cool, so this is a flow, it's executed. Let's see if the condition has been met. Yes, so the expression result equals true. Ta-da, so that's a task it's created from my flow. Okay, so the next thing I wanna show you is how to do OR, and it's pretty simple, so what you need to enter instead of AND is OR. So if we now go back to the condition step in flow, I'm going to type in OR and I'm going to hit save. So my flow has now saved and we can go ahead and create it. Okay, so now I'm going to hit new. This time I'm not selecting a product. Okay. So let's check that the flow has executed. And it has. And the expression result should be true. Yes. And now when we do the refresh of the case. Yes. Ta -da! Okay. Now the final thing that I'm going to show you guys is doing the group combination. So when we're configuring in Dynamics 365 workflows, what we tend to do is we tend to use the group or function. So this time I'm saying I want the customer to equal Stark Industries and if the product equals AI support for Iron Man armor, then we want that task to be created. So what I'm doing right now is I'm configuring how I normally would in Dynamics 365 when I want to achieve that type of condition. So I'm grouping my product criteria as OR and then I'm combining this group OR with a group AND statement. So how do we replicate that in flow? Well, this is what I'm going to show you. Okay, so back in Notepad++, um, the first thing that we want to do is we want to get rid of this bracket and we want to do another, another entry of the criteria. So what I need to do is I need to replace this with the grid of the Iron Man armor product. Okay, so I'm going to paste this into here. So now that's the good. And so what we need to do next is group these two as or statements. So how do we do it? Very similar to how we do the and, but without the at character. So this time we type or and then we do an open bracket. And as you can see, there is no closing bracket for it. And to double check, like if I click here, I can see that the opening bracket is there. 
And if I check this criteria, we can see that this has an open bracket. So we need to do another bracket. Okay, but then the other thing that's missing is that this guy is also missing a bracket. So we now need to put a third closing bracket over here in this last line, and that will now be the closing bracket for up there. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So now when I copy and paste this into Flow, it will now work as expected. So again, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that, wow, this is way more effort than what I'm used to when I configure in Dynamics uh, workflow. But again, you need to remember that Flow is a different platform and the way you configure in Flow, of course, will be different because of how it uses the O data APIs of Dynamics 365. So once you learn those methods, you should be fine. And so hopefully after my vlog series, you're gonna be a pro. Okay, so now I hit save. And now let's go ahead and execute our flow. Let's try and trigger it. Okay, so this time what I'm gonna do is um, we're gonna select the RMN Armor product. So I'm gonna hit save. And this time the flow should execute because I've now added that group or statement in my condition. Let me hit refresh. Ta da! Okay, let's have a look. It was cross. It was cross. Okay, wow, that looks good. Okay, so now when I go back into my case and we hit the refresh, you should see the task. Yes, self high five. <laughs> right, okay. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much this week's episode for Flow. Um, so just a quick recap. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you select edit in advanced mode. And what I showed you in terms of how to first understand what you need to copy and paste is grabbing your criteria in basic mode. And for each criteria, you copy it into Notepad++. I find that Notepad++ will help you in terms of making sure that you are not missing any closing brackets, because if you miss brackets and when you try to execute the flow, it's going to give you an error. Um, and the other thing that I showed you was how to reference a lookup. So in Flow, you need to grab the GUID of the record. And remember what I said about making sure that this record with this GUID is in your target instance, because if you export and import your Flow into the Flow target instance that is connected to your Dynamics 365 instance or CDS instance, um, and the record with that GUID does not exist, it's not going to work. And yeah, I hope you learned something today and I will see you in the next episode. So please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and I hope you're starting to feel the fun and the excitement of flow from watching me help you learn how to flow rather than have your what the flow moments. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Turn it up. Let's go. Let's go.